we made it through the small intestine where most of our chemical digestion has happened and most of our absorption has happened. And now we enter a structure that is structurally much different. If you look at it, there's no question. We are somewhere new. We are no longer in Kansas anymore because we exit the ileum and we enter this giant green thing, which is the large intestine. Another name for the large intestine, that says intestine, is the colon. And just like the small intestine has multiple parts, the large intestine has mul multiple parts. Food travels from the ileum into the first part of the small intestine, or large intestine, which is the cecum. So from the large intestine, no, from the ileum, we go into the cecum. The cecum is like this little pouch, and because the ileum is so long and the jejunum is so long, basically if I'm going to, if, if we're going to expect that you know from a gross anatomy perspective what part of the small intestine are we in, if you're close to the large intestine, if you're close to the cecum, then you know that you are in the ileum. The cecum, this little pouch, the appendix actually hangs off of the cecum. And the appendix is literally this little wormy thing that hangs off of the pouch. Now, this is awesome because the cecum, food in the cecum, travels upward in the ascending colon. And then it tra travels across in the transverse colon. And then it travels down in the descending colon. What? How nice is that? And then it travels through kind of an S-shaped space. No, tube. And that S-shaped tube is called the sigmoid. Doesn't that sound like a curly word? The sigmoid colon. And then rectum means straight. So the tube sigmoids, and then it straightens out, and that is your rectum. The rectum is straight. And the rectum is where, dude, we're on our way out. Only thing that is found in the rectum is stuff that's going to be gone shortly. And you pass through the anus? You do. No. Goodness. Holy cow. Food passes from the rectum out. It's not even food anymore. What is it? It's leftovers that your body's like, dude, I don't even want that stuff anymore. And it passes through the anus and out into your toilet. Now, what happened to this food? It really is food. It is what you just ate. That is your meal. The feces that you produce is stuff that was literally never inside your body. It never, it, you took everything you want out of it and whatever is left over is going in the toilet and it must pass through your anus. Now, most of the absorption of nutrients happens in the small intestine. There is some nutrient absorption that happens in the large intestine, but most of it is water absorption. So the function of the large intestine really is to absorb water. We've got some important nutrients that are produced by bacteria. What? Bacteria make vitamin K in your large intestine, and then you absorb that, which that's awesome. So there is some absorption of important stuff that's happening in your large intestine. But for the most part, it's water. And then you compact down your little poopies, and then they come out your anus. That's it. Dude, we're done with the large intestine. Let's talk about our accessory structures, because those guys are cool.